copy paste. No, not there, over there. Is that the right color? Was it that green or, or that green? Have I saved that file or, or was it this file? This has taken me all day. Are you frustrated with that repetitive manual work in Excel that leaves you thinking there must be a better way? You're not the only one. And imagine if you knew exactly how to automate those tasks at the click of a button. In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to the power of macros and Excel VBA in Excel. So with our automated report creation using Excel VBA, this is what we're looking to get to. Some beautiful reports here, one, two, three, beautiful reports generated at the click of a button. Let's get into Excel now. Let's get you set up to use Excel VBA. So firstly, download the download file and then you might have to do some unblocking here. So save the file on your system. Then we're gonna right click. We can see the properties options down here and in properties, you'll have an option at the bottom to unblock this file, which will allow you to access the Excel VBA. So go ahead and do that. Open up the file, it's gonna look something like this. You can see I'm on the report sheet. So a couple of things we need to do to get ready to use Excel VBA. We're gonna to go to Excel options. here, And the first thing is we're gonna go into the trust center, trust center settings. Then on the left, you can see your macro settings and you should set this to enable VBA macros. Now, of course, it's your responsibility to set this back to disable macros if you wish to after this tutorial. What else do we need to do in Excel options? Go to customize ribbon and make sure you can see the developer tab here. So I'm gonna click on the developer tab. I can just hit enter and I can see the developer tab there at the top of Excel. So let's get into the Visual Basic Editor. This is where Macro's Visual Basic code lives. And let's do a little bit of familiarization here. What does the VBA Editor actually look like? Here it is three main areas for, the, for us to look at here. Firstly, in the top left, we've got our project. We can see the sheets in the file here. They don't matter to us that much, but what does matter is these modules here. You can see we've got a transfer data module, add delete sheets and module and offset loop PDF module. And each module, you can see we've got a few macros where it says sub, this is the beginning of the macro, where it says end sub, this is the end of the macro. We're going to go through 10 to 12 super powerful macros to automate that report creation uh, process. What else do we need to know about in the VBA editor? Well, in the bottom left corner here, we've got the properties window. So you can just quickly click on one of these worksheets and it shows you properties about a worksheet. We're not going to use that in this session, so we can just go back to the module, double click into transfer data, and we are ready to go with Excel VBA. Now we've got your system set up for Excel VBA. Let's get into some coding with a simple data transfer operation, A equals B concept. I'm using this all the time on my real world projects. Let's take a look. I've gone over to the data sheet and tried to get this set up where you can see Excel and the VBA editor at the same time. You could do this across two screens. I'm doing it on one screen, holding down the Windows key, hitting the right arrow, the up arrow, and the left arrow allows me to get that positioning, holding down the Windows key and hitting those arrows to do that. So I'm gonna do something very simple here. We're just gonna put a value in a cell using Excel VBA. So make sure you're in the transfer data module and then click into this first macro here. You can see we've got some things in green here. These are just annotations or comments. Excel will ignore those when it's executing the macro. So just click in this macro. I can see the cursor flashing there. We're going to hit the play button at the top and then we're going to look at range E2 here. Just keep an eye on cell E2, what's gonna happen? Clicking in the macro, hitting play at the top, that's gonna run the macro and we can see a value has appeared in cell E2. Just click on cell E2, we can see it's not a formula. There's no connection between those cells, that's the power of VBA. It's just put a value in the cell. What's the key concept here? It's the A equals B operation, A being the destination, B the origin, so the value from B is gonna appear in A. So go ahead now, do some play. So whatever is in range A4 is gonna appear in E2. So I can put whatever I want in this cell. I'm just gonna type my name in, click back into the macro, and then hit the play button. 
what's going to happen let's see and i can see my name has appeared here what if we go ahead and change this cell so rather than a4 what if we said b4 here so just stop the video what's going to happen now with our data transfer i'm going to hit play and i can see the value of player has gone in because the origin cell is b4 so now it's so important we want to get those punch the air moments with excel vba do some play now with the simple data transfer start using the keyboard start experimenting trial and error this is how we build the skill of excel vba but now we're going to deal with data transfer between sheets in excel so just go a little further down this module click into the transfer data to report macro let's go over to the report sheet this is a very common setup with automated report creation in excel automating those repetitive tasks is to have a pre-existing report template and then to use data transfer to put data into that report. I'm just gonna do this manually quickly. I'm gonna put Luna's name in just to demonstrate and you can see everything updates here. It's a beautiful synergy between Excel VBA and Excel Formulae. Let's put Frodo's name here. We can see these formulae working for us, reading data from the data set, generating those reports. So all we need to do is change the value in this input cell everything else is going to change with this pre-existing report template let's learn how to step through a macro in the vba editor click into the transfer data to report macro then we're going to go to debug and step into suddenly we've got this yellow line and at the top of the vba editor you can't see it in my screenshot but excel is in break mode break mode means we've got the bonnet open we've got the hood open for our viewers in the us we're doing something to the code. I'm going to hit the F8 key, F8 key on the Windows PC. You can also go to debug and step into here. And we're going to see Excel working through this macro step by step. Incredibly powerful learning facility in Excel VBA. Just keep an eye on this cell. I'm going to hit F8 one more time. I can see the name changing. That's at the beginning of the calculation chain. That's changing all the other values, let's do it one more time. This time I'm going to do it using the mouse, just going to go step into, I can see CUDA's name now in the report. So that's a data transfer across sheets. We've got an additional piece of trans, additional piece of syntax here in our A, in our destination area. We're putting values into that report sheet. So you might be saying, Chris, that's cool, but I don't want to have to just put Luna, Frodo and CUDA into the report. I need to do something else. So later in this video, we're going to look at how to use loops in Excel VBA to make this even more powerful. So what was it like doing a simple data transfer in Excel using that 8 plus B operation? Did you secretly enjoy it? And don't worry, you're in good company. I love Excel VBA and the punch the air moments. We've got a whole video on data transfer from beginning to pro right here. You can watch it after this one. Let's get back to the video. Now, if you're creating these reports manually in Excel, something you might be doing is adding and deleting sheets. Very time consuming and frustrating. How can we move towards Excel control and automate the process of creating new sheets in a file? Let's click into the add delete sheet module. So I've double clicked in there. We're going to go to the add sheet simple module here. We're just going to run this macro as we've done already in this demonstration. We've now got an additional sheet in the file. Let's click it again. You can see we're adding sheets to the file instantly using Excel VBA here. Now this syntax, we're not going to go deep into the syntax in this video. We do elsewhere in the channel. We're putting a sheet in the file as the third sheet in the file. But what if you wanted to delete sheets? You did, wouldn't just want to accumulate any number of sheets in the file. We can do that too using Excel VBA. Click into the delete sheet simple file. Which sheet is this going to delete? It's going to delete the fourth sheet in the file. So I'm going to go ahead, click in the macro, hit play, and I can see those sheets that I just created are now disappearing. I'm going to hit one more time and I can see I'm back to my original setup here with three sheets in the file. Pretty cool. I'm going to go back to the add sheets simple macro, add a few sh sheets to the file because I want to show you this macro at the bottom here. A little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more complex, and we're feeling the power of a loop in Excel VBA. This for each and next construct, it's going to loop through 
each sheet in the file, each object in a collection. It could be each cell in a range, could be each chart on a sheet, could be each open file. In this case, we're looping through each sheet in the file and then we're using what's called a conditional statement here, a conditional statement. And we're saying to Excel, if the name of the sheet isn't data, if the name of the sheet isn't images, if the name of the sheet isn't report, then go ahead and delete that sheet. So this is the power of a loop combining with a conditional statement. Are you ready to punch the air? I've clicked in this macro, hitting the play button, and you can see suddenly all those sheets deleted and we're back to our original three sheets. Now you know how to add and delete sheets in Excel, automate that repetitive task, at the click of a button. Now we're gonna take it to the next level, position control using my absolute favorite, the offset method in Excel VBA, combining that with a loop. This is so synergistic, super powerful. Let's take a look. So we're gonna get into the third module in the file now. So go ahead, double click, C offset loop PDF here. So it says message box range B3 dot offset one zero here. So what on earth does this mean? Let's go to the images sheet. I've set something up here. We've got an anchor cell, and then we've got a few names here. Luna, Frodo, and Cuda. These are the names we want to loop through in order to create these three reports. It's gonna happen using offset and loops. Let's see, let's see how the magic happens. So firstly, range B3, this is an anchor point. An anchor point, the offset method, moves away from, moves away from an anchor point. We can see B3 set as our anchor point. And then how far does it move away? Well, the first number is the number of rows it moves away. The second number is the number of columns it moves away. Now, the first number is rows down. The second number here is columns across. So columns to the right as you look at the screen. Then we've got message box at the beginning here. I'm gonna go ahead, run this routine. I've clicked in the routine. I'm gonna hit the F5 key to run the routine on the Windows PC. It says Luna. So stop the video. Can you work out what's happened there? All the message box is doing is externalizing the value, a great little testing technique here using message box. What if I change this to a two? What value are we now gonna see in the message box? Let's go ahead, let's experiment. Let's play trial and error. Can we get one of those punch the air moments? Well, it's Frodo because we've moved away from our anchor point this time, not by one row, but by two rows. That's got us to row five and that's got us to Frodo. Thirdly, can we put a three in here? Then once again, what's going to happen? Offsetting, moving away from B3, this time by three rows, zero columns, and I can now see Kuda's name here. Pretty cool, this is offset, this is position control. Make sure you stop the video now. Do your play, do your experimentation. Excel VBA is a skill. Without practice, we ain't getting any better, but if you practice, foster that positive addiction, get a few punch the air moments. You could change your career today. That's what happened to me when I started learning Excel, Excel VBA. We're gonna get into loops now. We're gonna combine offset with a loop here. A loop is the most powerful concept in computer programming. I'm gonna click into this routine, hit the play button, what's gonna happen? Message box one, two, three here. We can see that message box flashing up three times. Let's go ahead and just step through this code. I'm gonna hit the F8 key. You can also go to debug and step into to step through this code, hit the F8 key. What's gonna happen? We're used to code working down the VBA editor. Because we've got a loop, we're gonna go through the code within the loop three times. That's what's happening here. Can you see how this is all coming together? Because if we've got a loop telling Excel to do something three times, we can then combine it all together as we've done in the next routine to create these reports. That's coming in just a second. Let's get into the macro recorder. If you want to know more about loops specifically, we've got our 10 minute beginner introduction to loops in Excel VBA. It's right here. I'll see you there after this video. So what are you going to do if you need to do a specific operation for your report generation, automate that process? For example, if you wanted to create a PDF in VBA, you're going to need quite a lot of specific code to do that. My suggestion it's not that you learn to write that code, rather we use a brilliant facility in the VBA editor. Let's take a look. So what are your options if you don't know some VBA code? And let's face it, early in your VBA career, 
That's going to happen a lot. It still happens to me 10 years into my VBA career. Let's get to know the macro recorder in Excel. We want to go to our report sheet and we want to change this into a beautiful PDF that we saw at the beginning of the demonstration. How to do that? I don't want to write that code organically. I don't know that code organically. Let's go to the developer tab. We're going to hit record macro here. Now this record macro facility, we can start do some actions. In this case, we're going to create a PDF and Excel will translate that code into VBA, put it in the VBA editor for us to use. Incredible, powerful facility here. So create PDF. It has to be one word for a macro. I've got the underscore in there. I'm going to hit OK, then take a second to head to the developer tab. Just note that this now says stop recording. At the bottom of Excel, we've got a stop recording symbol. That shows us that we're currently recording a macro here. So I'm going to save this as a PDF. You can do this however you want. I've just hit um, F12. You can hit F12 on the Windows PC. You can go to PDF. I'm just going to hit save. You could head in there and change some of those settings. And in the background, Excel has saved this PDF. I'm going to go to developer now. Remember to stop recording. And we can now head back into the VBA editor, Alt F11 shortcut on the Windows PC. You can also just go to the developer tab and select the uh, Visual Basic icon here. We can see we've got an additional module in the VBA editor. And what Excel has done, it's translated those actions for creating a PDF into VBA code. Now, once again, you can play, play with this, you can replay this. What I've done is I've taken that code and I've just adapted it. You can see at the bottom here, I've taken the original code, made some very subtle but important changes here. I've added this workbook.path, which is saying to VBA, save the PDF in the same folder as this workbook. And then I've said, make the name of the PDF, the name on the report sheet in cell E6, which is of course our report input cell. So a very common way to work with VBA, record some code, then in the VBA editor, make some changes. This is an incredibly important skill, a fun thing to do, an incredibly frustrating thing to do as well. But this makes the magic happen. Can you foster that positive addiction to Excel VBA? That's my challenge to you today. And it will be a privilege for me to be a guide for you on that journey. With that said, we've got offset loop combination. This brings everything together here. So you're not going to understand all this. But can you look at this and just pick out the main features? Where's the loop, for example? Where's the data transfer? Where's the offset uh, method here? And what is it doing? And then what on earth is going on here? We've said call save PDF. So this is the power of VBA. Again, we can call a different macro, which means Excel is going to jump into another macro. But we're now going to see a beautiful synergy. Excel loops in VBA working with position control with offset, working with the macro recorder to save a PDF. I'm going to click in this routine, hit the play button. Excel is going to do its thing in the background. A huge amount of work for us. That took about five seconds. I can now go to my folder. And what can I see here? Just created here. We've got our beautiful reports. I'm going to, going to, going to go ahead and open one here. Let's get the PDF open opening up in the background. And what we'll find is we've got a beautiful report here. This is the power of Excel VBA to automate those repetitive tasks. If you enjoyed learning about the power of Excel, Excel VBA, I've got another video for you right here.